Hi, I'm Heinrich. Good to have you back. In my quest for test equipment to make music with, I came across what must be the most sad and melancholy instrument out there. The Hewlett and Packard 3782A error detector. I bought this for 40 bucks in the hopes that it could be a pattern generator, because it has pattern written right on the front panel, but it turned out it has something completely different. As you can see, it's a pretty big box and rather heavy, and it came with a leather pouch where I hoped there would be a big manual inside. But there was only this connector cord that I had no idea how to connect to anything. I did find a manual glued to the lid, but it didn't help me out at all because this is all digital telecommunications thingo and I've got no idea how to speak that. Because this thing was probably used in telecommunications to test networks. In fact, it was owned by the Deutsche Post before, as you can see by this stamp. I tried out many things to get music out of the R detector, but it only can do two things. And these are the things that I first heard when I started it up. The small but relentless melancholic rhythm can be turned into a drone if you click any button. And then you can modulate the drone using these two buttons. And that's all there is. But I really like the trick that it can do. These sounds sound to me both futuristic, but they also look back into the past. They are melancholic, yet they've got a driving element. So I think this would be perfect for scoring something about social networks, the future, and something dystopian maybe. That is why I want to try and compose a piece of music using the error detector as the basis. I'm thinking I want to employ four track loops. I've got a Tuscom 4 to 4 set up right behind me. So let's go over there. I have a tape loop in here, which is about 60 seconds. I'm gonna set it first to high speed and I'm gonna record just the drone and I'm gonna modulate it at the same time. So I have the drone now recorded. It sounds like this. So now I wanna record the rhythm. So I have to turn it on and off again. Now let's record that on normal so we can pitch it up again on track 3 and now let's record it on track 4 super slow I'm gonna turn off the air generator because that is all that I need from him and the fan that this thing has is driving me nuts bye bye Now we're at the slowest tempo. Back two. Track three. That's very dark and brooding. I'll try to see what happens if I pitch it up a bit. like how it sounds at that pitch. So now let's add in other instruments. We've got an oscillator down there. Maybe I'll show you in the cutaway. 
that I want to play with. Let's turn it up. And turn it on here. Almost in pitch already. It's basically the effect chain that I used in my video on the Grundig Schallspeicher. I think some white noise would be cool. Patch in this giant white noise generator over here. Let's retune the oscillator a bit, make it more shining. And now maybe it's time for some beats. Say that's a rather nice beat already. Some EQing, the monographic equalizer. I think I have to add one more element. I'm going to go for a complex patch where I use everything into this switch here. Cool, so now it's switching. Depending on the trigger signal that it gets from this kind of sequencer's thing. So we can program two notes. Oh, that's nice. Kinda nice. Now let's modulate the VCA on this. Some nice phasing going on now. I kinda wanna do these water beats, so I think I'll have to sacrifice one of the channels of the drones. record.
that was fun to record. And I think it's a fitting ode to the most melancholy error generator ever made. The HP 37828. So that's it for this video. As usual, you can find the music in my Patreon. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. I think I shall call you Marvin.